the worldview concept during uh, Abraham Kuyper times was new concept, so but it, it was not his own, but he used it and he used it very. Uh, he Christianized it maybe or, or give it the popularity among Christians. Right now, we Christians we are very happy about speaking speaking about worldview, but it's new thing. Contempor I would say relatively new for, for us. But he was the one who was actually speaking about worldview in, 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 in such practical way. Now what he says, worldview is, he, he, he basically said that worldview has got its core and its core is the relation of man to God, to other men and to the world. And he said, if we cannot give answers that would be unique and in accordance with who we are to those three basic questions, then we, we are not able to have a worldview. Then, then we are just, 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 uh, um, we, we just happen to, to be the history, but we are no important group. And he says that uh, from the historical point of view, during, from Reformation times, is the Reformed tradition that gives those answers. Now, those answers, he said, and by the way, he said, Roman, Roman Catholics have got this, their, their answers. Modernists have got their answers. Islam has got its answers. He said, Orthodox faith have not developed his answers, and I think he was completely wrong. He's, he just don't know, he, doesn't, he didn't know enough Orthodox. I'm pretty sure Orthodox have got their answers because I know them. But the, the point is really for us to rethink whether we have our answers. And he said that um, uh, from his point of view, and I, I, I would probably agree with him, but, but it's still uh, <laughs> the thing that we should think about. Uh, he said, from his reform perspective, that the answer to the first question, what is uh, our relation to God, he said, it's um, immediate fellowship with God, Holy Spirit. And I really see how many evangelical Christians would quote him right now. It's immediate relationship with Christ. It's personal relationship with Christ. But in a way, it really uh, reflects his position. And he said about it in uh, 1898, I think, in, in, in his uh, lectures in Princeton, in USA. Um, I would say it's also... It's also um, there is some risk in this in this answer, just to be honest. I think the question is where is church or where is fellowship in all of it. It's very personal and it omits the question of fellowship and the church and and, 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 and we see it again among evangelicals now, because evangelicals some some would say, I've got my Christ, I don't need church, I don't need anything else, I'm just I just I just have Holy Spirit. I'm fully equipped, and well, that's 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 you know we feel it's not true somehow. Um, second question he he referred. Uh, he said, if we think about our relation to men, basically uh, it is um, equality, which is which is which is true. I mean, probably whatever is our view on the position of woman in ministry, we certainly agree. Equality is our uh, standpoint, and not only in, in, in sexual uh, issues, but also racial issues. Uh, kingdom of God spreads to all humankind uh, in the same way. Uh, and the third position, uh, when he spoke about the relation to the world, he basically said that there are two actions of the grace of God. One is the special grace unique grace among chosen ones, and one is common grace that is uh, touching uh, all, all humankind.